Hello guys, welcome to first person shooting. I got this queue as a favor from my friend to check it out before buying. Let's see what the babe can do. I will grade this camera in four aspects so you can actually pick what's important for you or leave what's not. Then I will take you on a short photography tour in the hops to show you what a day of shooting would go like with the original Pentax Q. So the first and a very important aspect in my opinion is the sneakiness. It is pretty small and white, so almost invisible in a shiny day. And the shutter sound is almost to none, so I would say it is almost impossible to bruise the scene with this little fella. So we give it a big 10 for sneakiness. Yes, out of 10. Well, well done, Pentax, well done. So the second aspect is usability. We will look at how easy it is to use. So comfort wise it is too small for my hands. But it is hefty. So its weight kind of makes up for it. When it comes to shooting experience, this little camera is a disaster. I mean, I know it's old and all, and it shines on all the other areas, but this is the one aspect that loses all the points. You know? Because uh, when it comes to focusing, for the lens I was using, of course, uh, towards a wider angle, you know, it was it was just quick and snappy. Okay. But when you went to the longer ends, it was like really slow to focus. I missed like lots of shots. You're gonna see like how slowly it focuses during the tour that I'm gonna show you. Well, and the buffer speed, man. Oh, that buffer speed. It's just like takes minutes, you know. If you have another shot coming up, just well after, right after one, you know, you have no chance to get it. Okay, so that's the most important point that I want to make in the usability because that's the point why the usability is getting actually 2.5 out of 10. Yeah. Not a good job, Pentax. Not a good job. As I said, it is too small for my particular hands, but it feels good in a funky way. A pretty close feeling to riding on a child-sized bike, if you know what I mean. But when you are taking a photo, it feels more serious. It's made out of all premium material and feels like a miniature DSLR with a leaf shutter. So yes, it feels good. So the style-wise, it gets a seven point out of ten. Good job, Pentax.
as you can see from the images I've shown you so far images especially the colors are delicious from this little slagger even the pixel count is pretty low to today's standards the resolution and the sharp images you get from it actually makes up for it
Considering its age, it is an excellent camera for travel and may be a bit of easy, <coughs> slowly pasted street photography with a shite screen though. The screen doesn't do justice to the images the little monster produces, yet for a fast pasting street runner like me, it just is too slow, therefore I will not be keeping it. 